founded Heart of Our Gallery April 2012 to build a home for women, trans, queers, and artists. This place is uh, the only place in South LA that it's safe for women and queers um, to be themselves. At the last art show, some of our attendees got attacked, which is causing us to shut down our doors. We, we can't take any risks. Um, we just have to keep our community safe. I mean, we advertise a safe space. And we can't leave our community behind. So please help us build a new home. I used to do this in private, and I thought, like, wow, like, I found a, a space to actually perform it instead of, um... Coming to the heart of art, if you get a chance to come in here, the art is very, it's beautiful, it's dark, it's tortured. What's beautiful about the space that transcends the space itself is the energy that's created within the people that come in. With Miss Three, with um, Kenya, which are the owners of the place, and the artists of the place as well. They create this vacuum that anybody that comes in here just positive energy, and you start feeling it. As soon as you enter the space, um, you realize that you've never experienced anything else like it. Art Gallery is the most beautiful, crazy, wonderful environment I've ever got to be a part of. The first time I came, I was just mesmerized because of the warmth and the friendliness and the joy that people were experiencing. And um, I just felt that everybody was so free and freedom gave them love and appreciation of everything else and each other. It definitely helped a lot of artists realize that they're artists. Somebody actually likes my art, you know, it was pretty crazy and like surreal. I want to say surreal because I didn't actually think my art could go somewhere. Not that I wanted it to, but you know, when you're growing up, especially with like Latin families, it's always like art is not the answer. Because there's a lot of doubt running in my family. I love that I kept that going on and that somebody saw that inside and that was mystery. Uh, I have a lot of problems with like self-hate and I don't like being around people because of my disability. It made me feel so good about myself and it, it made me realize that I have skills that I can actually work on and maybe one day become professional at it. You know? It's nice to know that I have goals that I can look forward to. And that's what the gallery gave me. Like it just made me feel like I was important. Just knowing the art and the people around is just I can be myself. I haven't been this creative in a long time. I can dance, I can play music, I can make art, I can say things I'm not supposed to say around people. You know, just I feel comfortable being myself more than ever than my own home. For the first time, even before the place got filled up with people and before the show started I just automatically felt liberated and like I could be as queer as I wanted to be and that was okay and uh, like I painted my nails pink and before the show and took my shirt off and I just felt like totally comfortable here being myself and expressing myself and the show is one of the better shows that I've played and because of just the the community of people here is so amazing and it's it's just a really a, a magical space. It's needed because, as I've heard and seen, the arts have saved a lot of people that come here. Creating with their whatever they're struggling with, their aches, their pains, using all of that energy into their creation. Not only do they create beautiful works of art, they heal. Like, you want to be surrounded by people that genuinely care about you and support you no matter what. I just feel light now. I, I think it's helped a lot with my depression and my anxiety. And 
I've become better. I've just been so inspired. Like I, I learned more in my few years here than in all the years I've spent in art school trying to figure things out. Like I found myself as a person. I have expanded my knowledge as an artist and grown as a person by just being in this environment of other crazy talented people who aren't afraid to express themselves, who aren't afraid to be who they are and make artwork. It provided a safe space for people to explore and to express themselves. It gave people opportunities that never had a chance to, whether it's artists that never show you, um, gave a place for people to come together, I think, um, whether it's from a community building perspective or helping the youth perspective. These entrepreneurs not really care so much about the bottom line or about making a profit. They just wanted to keep the gallery open so that they can bring all of this beauty, you know, to, to the people. Um, a safe place and great art, uh, performance art that you'd never seen before. I think it's just been a powerful epicenter for a lot of beautiful work. It's important because of what it offered to people that didn't really have a place to express themselves, a place to feel free and safe. It's not every day that you stumble across something that just truly makes you feel free to be you. And I'm sure there are a lot of kids that are at home who feel like they can't be themselves. And to have a place where you can be literally anybody or anything that you want to be and not have to worry about being judged or, you know, looked at funny, I mean, that's, that's important. This is what humanity is about. It's about unification. The heart of art is about unifying people. It's all the love. It's all the love that you just keep wanting to spread and just keep encouraging them. And I feel like what we did here was completely out of love. Everybody, this is Heart of Art Gallery.